Yeah, it's kind of been kind of a been kind of an up and down season for uh, for Cam, but it seems like he's starting to really come around and, and play as well as he's had. I wonder if you could talk a little bit about yeah, this I think, year. Yeah, he's been great. Obviously, uh, obviously to start, you know, our team. You know, we had several different teams, but he started with the suspensions and you know kind of struggled coming back from that. Maybe thinking certain things were going to be a certain way, and sure. he had to kind of come back and earn it. And I think he went through some struggles there, but you know, I think he's really, really made some really good strides over, you know, from Ole Miss to, um, you know, Oklahoma. You know, he's had some really good games of late. The couple games he struggled in, it was more foul trouble related, where he just didn't at Kansas, and I think what was the other game he got in foul trouble? Um, maybe West Virginia. Um, <laughs> so. But like real, real foul yeah. trouble, like five fouls in six minutes. But, uh, but I, I think he's been really good for us. And obviously, being a rim protector, uh, him rim running, you know, rolling on ball screens, he, he does a lot of really good things for us. So I'm happy with his progress. Obviously, him having that ankle injury for a little bit hurt us, you know, because we, we missed him in a couple of those games. But um, he's been really good, and we need him to finish these last eight regular season games out the right way. With, seems like something happens every 24 hours in this league. Uh -huh. I mean, the standings what shake happened up, the standing shake up. What do you think, you know, and I know you were asked this yesterday, but, but what's what's it going to be like the rest of the however many games you have left? Man, it's just a game at a time. I and mean, we got TCU, and we're going to have to be really good defensively, <laughs> and that's all our focus is on. Uh, obviously, we got a week off next week, which is great, because we can get healed and, and, uh, and get some rest while other teams play. Uh, but TCU, you know, they cause their own set of problems. They had a big win the other night at the buzzer against Oklahoma State, but uh, it's a lot of spread ball screen. Alex Robinson is, is terrific in ball screen offense. Uh, he's a huge key to the game. Uh, we got to be great in ball screen defense. We got to be great in transition, and then we got to finish plays against them. And then offensively, we got to really try to move them around. Um, but it's one game at a time, and, and you can't get too high and can't get too low. But, uh, you know, one thing that'll go a long way is just winning home games, and that's what we have tomorrow. And expect an unbelievable crowd, and hopefully we'll come and play with great energy. What's losing Vic for however long? How's that going to bother Cam? I don't know. Okay. You know, I don't. You know, it's like somebody's asked Coach Self one time before. Like, I, I don't. You know, they don't know what's going on here, and I don't know what's going on there. But, you know, it's it's unfortunate. A little bit I read. Hopefully everything is. You know, our our thoughts are with Legero and his family, and hopefully everything. Um, you know, gets back to, to normal quick and he can get back in Lawrence and, and get back with his teammates. Did, um, did the time that Cam spent in Massachusetts, you know, do you think it helped him um, have the mental fortitude to get through <laughs> some of the stuff he's had to come through since he came back? Yeah, I hope so. I think, you know, a lot of people, you know, I don't know what people have my, understand my intentions on why we did that and why I thought that was the best for him. But, I mean, a long-term approach, I thought Cameron, at the end of the day, he, he just habits, man, is, is what make you. You yeah. know, your daily habits and, and being able to handle adversity and be able to go through certain situations. And so I think you're right. Hopefully it did. I think, you know, going up there for the for the three months, really 90 days that he was up there, I think going through some things this this season, um, I think that that the foundation he built there, I think it definitely helped. Um, you know, you'd have to ask him for for more, you know, intel on that. But I, I would think from afar and, 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 and talking to him, I think it definitely did. It does every game. It does in <laughs> practice. You know? I mean, like yeah, on so. the macro, macro level. Yeah, you know, um, that's why, you know, that's the one thing. I, you know, when I compared this team at the beginning of the year, I compared it to the 2017 team that could score and pass and not turn it over, but just didn't rebound. You know, if, if that could, team could rebound, you know, it, it takes you to whole, a whole nother level. And so uh, we've had situations where we've showed on tape where we've had really good box out situations and real good fundamental possessions. Uh, we just have to string more of those together. and. You know, as we go down later in the stretch, excuse me, later in the season here, these last you know eight games, and then in the postseason play, we, we've got to put an emphasis on it. Whether it's free throw box outs, I mean, you look back at the Baylor game, you know, Kansas State game, and those are big possessions. We lose on a free throw box out, uh, or, or, or part of the reason you know we we lost. And so, uh, it is. It's a it's a big bit of point emphasis. Problem is, you know, you got to work on it kind of within different ways because. You know, I don't. You know, you don't want to get anybody hurt right now in a three-on-three -three live box-out situation. So we're just in our five-on-five -five and our situational stuff is really make a point emphasis, and then uh, do it in some fundamentally 
you know, fundamentally work on it some, but it is, it's a big key. And we've got to be better in that area. Are you seeing teams sending more guys to the glass against you? or are they No, the one good thing, yeah, I think the one good thing is because people know how we want to convert on the other end. I don't think you're ever going to see people, I don't think, sending, you know, three, four guys. You know, um, you know, some teams send four guys, some send three guys. I think more teams when they're playing us is more trying to say, get their defense set. And, and some of our rebounding numbers have been a little bit better of late. Have you ever been a big full court press guy? No. Why? I've just never been around it, really. Okay. You know, and I mean, so you've you got four guards. I mean, I would think that okay, yeah. four guards, well, these guys can press. Yeah, you just kind of, you know, uh, you, you, you do what you know and you do what you feel comfortable with, <laughs> and you don't try to get outside that. Um, and so uh, I think we've made strides being interchangeable defensively, and we've had some, we've had a couple bad moments, you know, talk about Kansas game where we weren't great defensively, but for the most part, we've been pretty good. You know, I, I would rather be a fundamentally sound half court defensive team and, you know, pick up like we do here and there, three quarter court. But the all out, you know, kind of run and jump, full court press, no. You know, should we, can we extend pressure a little bit? Yeah. Um, but, you know, that's, that's for everybody to have an opinion on. With Wendell, is he, it almost seems like there's a comfort level he's settled into in the last couple of games. And I don't know if it's almost like reverting to muscle memory a little bit after he got all the game reps, it feels. Fluid. Yeah, we, yeah, I think so. And I just I saw something that uh, we tweeted out today, and I sent it to him. That we're like, you know, his last four games, he's 45 percent from three. His three point percentage is creeping back up to 40. You know, I think he's feeling comfortable. I think him coming off the bench the other night, at Oklahoma, he gave us an enormous lift. We couldn't score. We were struggling to score. He goes back to back threes. Thought he played really, really well there. And I do. I think he's he's he's, you know. I don't know if you're going to say finding his stride, but feeling more comfortable. And, and I think the guys, I think that was a really good part of the Oklahoma game was guys were really, really genuinely cheering for each other. And so, because we've had a lot of makeup rosters this year, you know, we did, we had one team here, one team there. You know, I think I saw something, you know, we've only, only had one loss when we've had our full, you know, our top seven playing. You know, we've only had one loss with the top seven all in uniform. And so, um, you know, but I think Lindell's hitting his stride and, Obviously, a big key for us down the stretch here, and um, but I think the shooting percentage—I always thought that would kind of work itself way right back to around 40.